In this video, we are going to discuss the properties of expectation and variance. Some of the property I have given you, the expectation of A is always equal to A, where A is a constant number. So anytime you are given the expectation to find out a constant phi u is equal to same as phi u. Expectation A multiplied by any variable x, E of x. So just take out A outside and find out expectation of x. Expectation of Ax plus B is same as a times expectation of x plus b that is the same rule as the first rule where a and b are the two constants if you have to find out expectation of two variables x1 plus x2 independently calculate them where x1 and x2 are two random variables and if you have expectation of function x1 plus function x2 plus minus you have to calculate independently both the values of function is valid for plus minus a plus minus value Say for example, you want to calculate expectation of x, which is same as mu is equal to sigma x. fx is same in a continuous, we can write this as integral x fx into dx. And suppose you want to calculate expectation of x square. You can calculate as some sigma x square f of x. And if you are interested in expectation of x cube, then it is a sigma x cube f of x. And for continuous random, you can just take the integral of x cube f of x dx. For continuous random, this is for discrete variable. The questions are expected on expectation and variance. Variance of any constant term is always equals to zero. Variance of a into x is same as a square into variance of x. Variance of ax plus b is same as a square variance of x. Well, since the variance of b is equal to 0 because it is a constant term. So only one term will appear as a square variance x. Variance of x1 plus x2 whether it is a plus or minus we have same value that is the variance of x1 plus variance of x2. Where x1 x2 are independent random variables. Expectation of A is A, variance of A is 0. So try to remember the rules. Some questions will cover up. Let x1 and x2 be the independent normal random variables with a mean of mu1 and mu2 and a standard deviation of sigma1 and sigma2 respectively. Then we have y is equals to x1 minus x2, mu1 equal to mu2 equal to 1 and sigma1 equal to 1, sigma2 equal to 2. Then you have to calculate the four choice given to you y is a normal distributed with a mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 1 y is a normal distributed with a mean equal to 0 and variance equal to 5 y has a mean of 0 variance of 5 but not normal distributed so basically it's a normal random variable so your answer will come as a normal distribution only so it means that a choice c and choice d will not be true so either we have a choice a or either we have a choice b so let's try for first expectation of x1 is same as mu1 and this value equals to 1. Similarly, we have expectation of x2 equal to mu2 is equal to 1. So mu1 and mu2 are same values. Variance of x1 is sigma1 square. But sigma1 is given as 1. So this is 1 square is same as 1. Variance of x2 equal to sigma2 square is 2 square 2 square is 4 now he has given us y value y value is x1 minus x2 so y is equal to x1 minus x2 so we can calculate expectation of y so expectation of y is same as expectation of x1 minus x2 now this we can solve using the property expectation of x1 minus expectation of x2 now expectation of x1 is mu1 is same as 1 minus expectation of x2 is minus 1 so this value equal to 0 so we have mean of y is normal distributed and the value of this one is equal to 0 now we can calculate variance of y so variance of y is equal to variance of x1 minus x2 remember whether it's a plus minus it's always a positive value so variance of x1 plus variance of x2 
Now variance of x1 is sigma 1 square is same as 1 plus variance of x2 is sigma 2 square is 4 plus 4. So this equals to 5. So you have variance of y is equal to 5. It means that the choice B is correct choice.